it's time. Vijay Gupta ji. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we are all ready. It's time. I think we can start. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Yes. So, uh, I, on the behalf of uh, principals and uh, the staff members, government, high smart school, Tuvaria Wali, the name of the village of our school, and uh, state Punjab, so I welcome wholeheartedly uh, to Adi Srinivasan sir and Balanandam sir and Anand sir and uh, the guest of our uh, today's uh, eight winning program, Daffodils English School, Bangalore, Karnataka, and uh, special uh, their mentor, Ronita Gogan, and geography teacher. We wholeheartedly welcome you. Ben. Thank you, sir. Jai Hind children, very happy to be with you all. And your friends over here in Bangalore, they're also eagerly waiting to interact with you all. And uh, here they are, they're going to introduce themselves. Thank you so much, sir. I'm uh, starting with the introduction here. Yes, uh, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, our students are also very eager to introduce with uh, their new friends and from southern India, from Karnataka. Yes, sir. Yes, come. Come forward. Jai Namaste, everyone. I'm Kriti Tumala, the head girl of the school, and I'm studying from grade 10. Jai Hind, everyone. I'm Usman. I'm, I'm from grade 10. Jai Hind everyone, this is Siddharth from grade 10. Jai Hind everyone, I'm Vishasuni LJ from grade 10. Jai Hind everyone, I'm Shrishti from grade 10. Jai Hind everyone, I'm Sreshta from grade 10. Jai Hind everyone, I'm Palaji from grade 10. Jai Hind everyone, I'm Rakshita from grade 10. Jai Hind everyone, I'm Yukta from grade 10. Jai Hind everyone, I'm Akhil from grade 9. Jai Hind everyone, I am Nishan from grade 9. Jai Hind everyone, I'm Samar from grade 9. Jai Hind everyone, I'm ready from grade 9. Jai Hind everyone, I'm Aditi from grade 9. Jai Hind everyone, I am Sanat from grade 9. Jai Hind everyone, I am Uddhava from grade 9. Jai Hind everyone, I'm Antara S from grade 9. Jai Hind everyone, Namaste, I'm Divya Ji from 9C and we thank you for inviting the actors in your school from Bangalore to participate in this cultural activity. We eagerly look forward to exchange our cultures and uh, look forward to a happy uh, program. Thank you. Yes, Vijay Gupta Ji, over to you. Our children, uh, our all children have uh, introduced themselves. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thanks uh, once again. And we are uh, wholeheartedly welcome once again to all the dear uh, students. Thank you so much, sir. Yes. Jahin Sands, I am Anjali from 9th standard. Uh, sir, the mic is mute. Your mic is mute, sir. Uh, so, so sorry. No problem. Jai friends. I am Kishat from 9th standard. Jai friends. My name is Simran. I am standard 10th standard. Jai 
Karan Sang and Sangam from Tanzania. Yeah, hello friends. I am Bhavish from Ninth Standard. Jai Hind to all. My name is Sahil. Sahil friends, I am Ekta from Ninth class. Jai Hind friends, my name is Jai Sahil. I don't want friends. Jai Hind friends, I am Jai Sahil. Jai Hind friends, I am Ninth class. Jahan friends, I am Kareem from my class standard. Jahan friends, I am Devanti from 10th star. 10th standard. Jahan friends, I am Kareem from 9th standard. Jahan friends, my name is Mukesh Kumar. I am 10th. I read in 10th class. Jain friends are from my students. Jain and my name are students and my name is students. Jain friends are from my 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 students. Hi friends, I am Bhumika from grade 8. Jai friends, I am Aishita from grade 8. Yes, anybody left with her? Yes, uh, please, uh, Komal, hurry up. Uh, Komal, Jamka, hurry up. Poonam. Hello friend, my name is Kamala from 9th Kamala. Poonam. Janka, what up? Ay, 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 ay. Actually, uh, some girls are there who are feeling very shy. So uh, their name is, one from is Janka from grade 10th. All right. And one, one is Poonam, grade 10. And one is uh, Komal, grade 9. All right. So, And uh, one girl is left, uh, her name is Neelam. All right, sir. Yeah. Grade 10. Grade 10. All right. Neelam from grade 10. So all, all have uh, done, man. So we finished from our side, man. Okay. All right. So, yes. Uh, sorry, sorry. I, I, I left, man. So I couldn't. Uh... So, children, this is Vijay Gupta, sir. Uh, thank you, Betaji. Uh, thanks uh, again to uh, interacting uh, our students. And uh, we'll show you the Punjabi culture and uh, we'll a lot of fun uh, in this given time. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Over to you. Yes, sir. Uh, I would like to call upon Divya. Yes, sir. So, children, here we have Divya with us from grade 9, who is going to preview about uh, history of this region. So, you can have dialogues with her. If you have any question, you can ask. You can also share any part of the history of your region. All right. So over to Divi. The history of Karnataka starts from two names. Come closer. The history of Karnataka can be traced back to Paleolithic about two or two million years ago. And the louder. Come close. Two million years ago, the several several great empires and dynasties that ruled in um, that ruled in Karnataka, including the Chalukyas, the Nandas, etc. 
uh, the most important empires that ruled include the uh, Vijayanagara Empire and uh, most important ruler was Tipu Sultan. Later in the Anglo-Mysore War, the, the Tipu Sultan was defeated by the East India Company and then uh, in the, uh, after India attained independence, Karnataka, reunite, Karnataka was reunited from parts of Hyderabad, state, Madras state, and other Kannada speaking regions. Jai. That's the question to share their history. Uh, and uh, please do tell if uh, tell about your history. Uh, thank you so much, Vidal, for uh, explaining the history of uh, state Karnataka. And no doubt, Karnataka has a very uh, historical importance in our country. Yes, sir. You're going to share the screen, sir? Uh, yes, ma'am. And uh, oh. am I audible, sir? Sir, uh, audio is still very soft. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, I try to speak a little bit loud. Yes, sir. That will be good. Okay. Uh, as uh, you can see, the name of our state is Punjab. That means the land of five rivers. And uh, uh, this word is derived from the French language. The word Punjab is from the French language. And that means the land of five rivers. And the name of the rivers are Satluj, Beas, Ravi, Jhelum, and Chinat. And uh, uh, there is a river Sindh, and we can say Indus, Indus River. And from uh, this river, we got the name India. Uh, you must uh, have read about the Indus Valley Civilization. That river uh, flows in our ancient Punjab. And now we have uh, 23 districts in our state. And we are just uh, 300 kilometers from the national capital, Delhi. And uh, our state, Punjab, is a land of so many saints, martyrdom. You must know about the legendary martyr, martyr uh, Shahid Bhagat Singh, Lala Lajpat Rai. Have you any heard about the name? Yes, yes sir. No. Oh, these all are concerned with the state, Punjab. And we are surrounded by uh, states that are. Haryana and Himachal separated from Punjab in 1971. And uh, during partition, our state also had uh, separated. Our, uh, uh, some major part uh, has been in the Pakistan area. And we have a little bit in India. Then again separated in 71. Then a new state, Himachal and Haryana. And we have a uh, combined uh, capital that is Chandigarh, Haryana and uh, Punjab. So the ladies and gents and the boys and the girls of Punjabi, uh, they have a height uh, almost uh, five and seven, eight feet. And mostly they joined the Indian Army, and uh, mostly Punjabis are resigning all over the world, mostly in the Canada, America, England, Germany. You can see, uh, uh, you can visit anywhere in the world, but uh, you will see the at least Punjabis there. So, this is a brief history of Punjab. Thank you, sir. And I was also welcome Joginder sir from Haryana. Welcome Joginder sir to joining with us. Yes, Arunita ma'am, over to you. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much for briefing us about the history of Punjab. Thank you, sir. And uh, welcome Joginder sir. Thank you for joining us. Yes, now we have Sanat here. Uh, so let please come. Okay. So Sanat here. Uh, 
Okay. Who's going to sing a melodious folk song of Karnataka? And he will brief about it. So, Karnataka. Karnataka has made contributions to the two main Indian classical music, which is the Carnatic and the uh, Hindustani music. Along with that, it has uh, own uh, folk music, which is of 250 different forms. They are mainly based on uh, uh, Janapada Gite, which is a form of song, which is passed from uh, person to person and generation to generation orally. So it has no real author or a poet. So it also includes Vachana Sahitya, which uh, these types of songs were created in the 12th century, with, uh, which uh, created awareness among people to unite uh, themselves and not divide on the basis of religion. And uh, they have to do their work properly. And it also depicts the life of people at that time and the nature and about the religions. Even now in villages, the folk songs are sung uh, by creating a mela or stage for singing and dancing in the uh, open areas. They sing uh, folk songs with uh, traditional folk in, uh, instruments and uh, they, they are simple and yet meaningful. So I'm going to sing folk song uh, which is uh, based on a girl who asks, asks a bangle seller uh, to go to her mother's place, but the bangle seller does not, does not know the way. So the, uh, the girl explains beautifully about the uh, vegetation uh, in the way uh, where her mother lives. And also she, it also depicts about the love and affection towards her mother and the beauty of the nature. Bhagya da bale gara hogi bananta varige Bhagya da bale gara hogi bananta varige Ninna tavarura nane nu balle nu Ninna tavarura nane nu balle nu Gotilla yana ge guri illa yele bale Gotilla yana ge guri illa yele bale Tori subare tavarura Bhagya da bale gara ho giban and tavari ge Bhagya da bale gara ho giban and tavari ge Bale balake bidu Sibe yadake bidu Bale balake bidu Sibe yadake bidu Nata nadu beli ni ho go bale gara Nata nadu beli ni ho go bale gara Ali hu de nana tabaru Mutai de yele henne to rubare tabaru ra Mutai de yele henne to rubare tabaru ra Hanji na mane kano Kanji na kada kano Hanji na mane kano Kanji na kada kano Minchado veradu gini kano bale gara Minchado veradu gini kano bale gara Ali hu de nana tabaru ru Bhagya da bale gara ho gibanan tabari ge Bhagya da bale gara ho gibanan tabari ge Thank you. Yes, sir. I hope you all enjoyed. Did you all like children? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thanks, a, lot, uh, thanks a lot, Betaji, for uh, singing this beautiful song. And uh, we had uh, enjoyed a lot. Even we are not able to understand so much. Huh. And, uh, you have earlier described. So yes. one song is from our students. Oh, very nice. We welcome, sir. Who is going to sing, sir? Yes, sir. they are introducing yourself. All right.
Hello, my name is Kiran. Hello, my name is Kiran. Hello, friends. My name is Arzia from 8th standard. Hello, friends. My name is Kiran. Hello, friends. My name is Arzia from 8th standard. Hello, friends. My name is Arzia from 8th standard. Uh, name of this child is Anusuya. Okay. Okay. Yes, but please come to the stage. And uh, ma'am, you first enjoy the song, then we explain later on. Okay, sure, sir. Yes. Open the door. Uh, okay, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. आप डांस करिए कैमरे बंद मत देखो ओके Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is the presentation from our state, Punjab. Yes, sir. And uh, in this song, 
our wife is requesting to her husband okay i want to go outside from the home i want mm -hmm. to visit uh, some uh, where else and please uh, provide a tour for me let me a uh, new suits new sarees and the makeup uh, kit but the husband says i'm very busy i have no time because i have to work in the fields so there is a you can say a fighting between through songs between a husband and wife okay. so this is a, a culture of our state punjab all right so that's nice yeah. <laughs> So, so we have with us uh, Antara now, okay, who will uh, enlighten us more about uh, you know, uh, traditional music and dance form of Karnataka, of Southern India. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here is Antara. Namaste. I'm Antara. Looking at their dance, when I'm in the mood to dance, so today I'm going to speak a little about the folk dances of Karnataka. We have many dance forms here. Some are classical and some are folk. Under classical, we have Bharatanatyam. Uh, you may have heard of it. Uh, it has its origin in mythology. Mahati Purana dance style hai ye. Or folk dance mein uh, do prakar hai. Dollo Kurnita or Yakshagana. Uh, Dollo Kunita, it has its origin in mythology and a dance is very swift and controlled. Both men and women dance or wo, no, pot, bade drum rakte hai, or wo semicircle or circular formation may dance karte hai. Or is dance may bought sara stamina or energy. I mean, you need a lot of stamina and energy for this dance. And uh, Yakshagana, it is a traditional uh, theater. In this, they depict a lot of mytho mythological stories like Ramayana or Mahabharat and uh, Bhagavata. The costumes, they depend on the story and the jewelry is made of wood and broken uh, pieces of mirror. And the headgear and they also wear kamarband. And it is very colorful. Lal, Pila, Nila or uh, black jaise colors and makeup bhi pehente hai aur us makeup ko pehne ke liye unko 3-4 ghante lagte hai to ye ye the dono folk dance from karnataka thank you do you have any questions thank you so much beta ji uh, for explaining in a beautifully way so uh, now it's our turn and as you know punjab is a land of uh, so many stands okay and i invite uh, a ninth grade student garima garima you please uh, oh, sorry anjali anjali you please tell us about the uh, founder of sikh religion i'm going to share my uh, screen so that you can uh, Okay, all right, sir. So, shall we proceed to the next, sir? Ah, yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. So, this is Nanak Devji. He was the founder of Sikh religion. Can you hear the uh, voice, ma'am? So, I'm not able to understand properly. Okay. Any question? No, ma'am. Yes, hello. Sri Guru Nanak Ji was the founder of Sikh religion. Okay. He traveled in four sides of India and is called to be Udasis. Okay, good. And the message of secularism, brotherhoodness to all the India. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you so much. 
so we have udhava with us udhava is going to tell more about uh, uh, practices here okay so over to udhava come with us good morning everybody jai hind i am udhava from ninth grade we have previously discussed about folk song and folk dance now let us come to art here in karnataka the tra uh, traditional art is known as chitara which is spelled as c h i t t a r a it uh, it involves designs formed only by geometrical shapes of different sizes it does not contain any human or animal figures to be specific uh, uh, but it is only composed of geometrical designs and shapes of various sizes it is a very common art in karnataka and is quite popular now i would like to know about the traditional art of your place i would also like to know the uniqueness about your art uh Uh, yes, sir. Are you? Are we audible? Did I get this, sir? Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, we can hear you. Okay. All right. Okay. Any question, children? Any question from what Udhava has spoken? कुछ पूछना चाहेंगे? Do you want to ask any question, sir? Okay. No. 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 No and uh, she wants to tell about a uh, very religious place we'll show you by the screen uh, set the screen yes sir just uh, wait ma'am we are just just wait a second I am going to share my screen. Uh, hello, sir. Could you adjust the camera? Ah, uh, we, unka, wo chehra dikh nahi raha. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ha, thora sa adjust kar diye. Ha. Uh, it's good, sir. Uh, good. Good morning, everyone. I am Aishika from Gate Eight. This is a golden temple. It's very famous. All the tourism from the outer countries also come to visit her. Ah, uh, ma'am. Dear students, have you ever heard about this golden temple? Yes, sir. We have. Children, you all have heard about, right? Golden yes. temple. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, have you ever visited golden temple? Yes, sir. I have visited. Oh, great! Udhava has visited. Visited. Yeah. Oh, big hands for. Uh... okay so we once again uh, inviting you all of you you please do visit our state punjab the land of five rivers so uh, we will uh,
so the all religious and uh, historical monuments etc yes sir definitely we will sir someday okay and it is a relevant place for the six sign uh yes ma'am now uh, now i want to show some uh, geographical walls for the students yes sir <laughs> Just wait. Uh, it will take only one minute. Uh, till then, you can share uh, whatever you want to. Uh, yes, share yes, then. definitely. Samaj is here to share some more information. So Karnataka is a land of beautiful festivals. Some of them are recognized globally. For example, Dasara or Navratri. It is a nine to 10 day long festival. On this day, Chamundeshwari, an incarnation of goddess Parvati, killed the demon Mahishasura. Ugadi is another example. It is the new year for the Hindu calendar. It is an auspicious day, especially for new beginnings. And Kannada Rajyotsava is celebrated on the November 1st of every year. It began in 1956 when Karnataka was founded. Kamwala is an bull race which is organized by the farming communities, especially in Dakshin Kannada or and many other rural places. In this, two a pair of bulls are anchored by a farmer and are made to in a field of slush. So I'm curious to know about some of the festivals over there. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Beta, I am saying that Karnataka is a very good thing. But in Karnataka, it is a very good thing. What is the dress? What is the dress code? What is the dress code? Vijay Gupta, uh, sir, we are not able to see your screen. I think you are trying to show us something. Uh, yes, sir, I'm going to share the screen. Okay. Can you see this beautiful planet, ma'am, on the screen? Uh, yes, we can see your screen now, sir. Okay. Uh, Our India. Uh, just, just wait. Uh, we want to know where are you from Karnataka. Karnataka, Bita Ji? Yes. And uh, the, the name of the school of Karnataka? Yes, Dafford is English school. So, uh, the name of city? Yes, Bengaluru. And Bengaluru is the capital of Karnataka. So, here is the Bengaluru. This one. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, can we see the school online on this map? Uh, sir, we are in the North Bangalore. Okay. Huh, North Bangalore, you, you can stroll? Yeah. Okay, okay. 
so beta ji this is the karnataka and now i'm going to share uh, state punjab you are in southern india and uh, we are on yes gujarat rajasthan yes and the neighboring uh, state uh, of punjab is rajasthan yes haryana and uh, this one is state punjab and uh, you must know uh, the uh, famous cities bathinda ludhiana jalandhar amritsar and uh, bikaner so we are living in just near pakistan border oh okay Uh, let yeah. me show you. Sir, our children, they are very curious to know something about this border area. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, a simple cur curiosity in the child's mind. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sir, uh, yes, we have uh, Kriti uh, with us who has some question on it. Who would like to know the between border area, Indo-Pak border? Uh, okay, well, I'm just going to show where we are uh, living just now. So the yeah. name of this city is Fazilka, and this is international bo uh, border. So you can say we are just near to Indo-Pak border. Uh, this is Fazilka. So there are surrounding uh, cities uh, Jalalabad and Abohar. So this is our village where our school is. As uh, in okay. this village, all right. Here, here your school is situated, yes. right, yes. sir? Okay, great. Yes. Yeah. And uh, this is the Indo Pak uh, International Line. Yes, sir. Uh, this is our main city, Fazilka, just near Pakistan border. Huh. Yes, and now ask the question, ma'am. Um, sir, I just wanted to know the. Uh, I just wanted to briefly know the daily life of the students uh, living in that village. Ah, uh, please repeat again your question. You just want to know. So we, uh, I want to briefly know the day-to-day uh, -day student life and the education education system uh, near the border regions. Okay. Actually, uh, our school, uh, schools are state government schools, and uh, uh, our state language Punjabi medium is there in all the government schools, and uh, as well as uh, English medium is also there. So, uh, main science and mathematics we mostly uh, follow NCERT books. Yes. And the uh, standard of education just near uh, Pakistan border, the village and uh, mm -hmm. near uh, border, uh, the students have to struggle a lot mm -hmm. because they coming to school and going to uh, their home. So they have a lot of uh, obstacles uh, in in their path. Because uh, we uh, are the students in our school, mostly they are from the labor classes, and uh, illiteracy is also there. Not uh, at all, but mostly is there. But even our uh, students uh, work very hard and they learn to the new things uh, every day. Try to learn the uh, new things uh, using technology and uh, interacting with you. So this is uh, one reason. They want to know very curious about the Noda state Karnataka and the how the students of Karnataka name. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, first of all, uh, it's really inspiring uh, what your students are able to do, even in uh, having obstacles uh, in the way. So it's very inspiring, and I really, really uh, like uh, hearing about uh, their experience. Their uh, experience. Uh, thank you so much for answering my question, sir. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome. 
नमस्ते सर नमस्ते सर आई वॉन्टेड टू आस्क you have witnessed any army camps nearby and how does their life go on there and at the border and how is it like that okay beta uh, yes uh, army camps are there and uh, uh, there very peace uh, no need to worry uh, i told and uh, that army uh, indian army is there bsf you can say so they visit our schools also and we visit their camps also once a, in a year so very lovable are there uh, no need to uh, take tension or uh, fear uh, fear at all thank you yes, sir next Okay. One question. Next. Hello, everyone. I am Akhil and in grade nine. So, in the I am going to be talking about the traditional dresses of Karnataka. So, in southern India and especially in Karnataka, most people wear the same kind of traditional dresses. The men wear a panche, which is a cloth. Uh, around the waist or the bottom part of their body, and they wear uh, like a shirt on top. The women usually wear uh, sarees. Silk sarees are very famous in South India, and they're worn in various different styles. So, also the women wear jewels, and these traditional dresses are worn during festivals. and the older people of our communities usually wear them to preserve our traditions so i wanted to ask what kind of tradition dresses do you wear in punjab uh please ask for once again repeat your question uh sir i wanted to ask what kind of traditional dresses are worn in punjab uh not able to get my uh, voice is uh, restoring and breaking sir he is asking traditional dresses in punjab okay okay traditional dress yes uh yes beta please come Yes, ma'am. Uh, girls of our state, we are uh, this is the name of uh, in uh, our state. We say chunni. Okay, and you please uh, stand up. And uh, this one of the hair long. Uh, the name of this uh, beautiful uh, instrument is paranda. Okay. Or uh, this one is gothri. Hey, this is the button. Or this this one, Punjabi suit. Or ये वो क्या था ना यहाँ पे? हाँ. Women, uh, we are we are this thing. The name of this uh, uh, decorative device is chikka. All right. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, the gents, we are uh, this this yeah. belt. uh we can say kurta and punjab pajama ji okay all right sir uh, this one is uh, kurta ji and uh, we uh, we are turban and the sikh uh, religion uh, and uh, jutti also they are they wear in the, their feet jutti in white of suit so we want to show the jutti yes sir <laughs> Okay. Yes, sir. We have next Nishan with uh, us. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, 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 Jai Hind, everyone. My name is Nishan, and I'm from Standard A section. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Very beautiful, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, that's very nice. We will come to Punjab. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> always, always welcome. Yes, sir. 
sir nisan so, has been to us ha uh, yes yes beta yes sir uh, being a part of india all of us uh, have traditions there there like beliefs and faiths and superstitions as well so uh, my question is are there any faiths or beliefs that you people have that i should know of if i were to come to punjab okay again uh, voice problem ma'am i'm sorry uh, not uh, uh, not able to hear to properly okay sir uh, nishan is asking any kind of belief or practices if uh, uh, if nishan has to go to punjab he should be aware of it okay. any particular belief or any practices that any visitor should be knowing about it okay uh, before answering the question our students want to know uh, are you going to live dance just here so we couldn't follow uh are you able to go in the live dance here as we did uh we are not prepared today sir maybe next time okay 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 so, we have our... got, uh, uh questions like our children they want to know more about your place okay okay whenever uh, you visit punjab yes. we will welcome you whole heartedly definitely okay. thank you no uh, no need to appear anything in our punjab there is a you can say the name of uh, this uh, belief is langar system okay langar system is in the gurudwaras in the old gurudwaras 24 huh. hours if yes. anybody comes feeling hungry so langar huh. will be provided to them they oh. may be any any number they may oh. be 100 thousands so Uh, oh, oh, 24 hours that's so nice sir providing langar to everyone that's very really, very kind and noble work yeah. this uh, system is implemented uh, more than 500 years okay that's very good sir that's wonderful thank you ma'am that's nice to hear yes Uh, yes, and the time is very short, uh, but we uh, want uh, more to talk a lot. Uh, yes, Vita. Good morning, sir. I'm Ridley. So, uh, my question was: Here we have many local games like Gilli Danta and Lagori. So, what are some of your local games that you will play every day? Ah, uh, not not able to hear, ma'am. Sir, uh, I asked. Uh, What are some of the local games that you play there in Punjab? Ah yes, yes. Uh, so I invite one student to tell the name of local games we play normally. Ah, uh, where is Nila? Yes, brother. Yes, please, please come. Okay, Bhumika, I, I, brother. Bhumika, please tell the name of local games uh, you play all the time. खो खो कबड्डी फुटबॉल बास्केटबॉल क्रिकेट लोकल पंजाबी ओके ओके अपने मैं लोकल पंजाबी गेम यू जस्ट प्रोनाउंस आफ्टर मी वेरी फेमस गेम गुल्ली डंडा okay gilli danda okay and uh, kabaddi oh all right and kotla chapati gite yes ha uh, and uh, hide and seek uh, in say lukan michi so these these are the main uh, prominent game the children play Uh, all the time when, whenever they have spare time yes sir. thank you sir ah, welcome namaste everyone this is sada i had a question on how the lockdown impacted the climatic conditions in your place 
Okay, uh, weather conditions you were asking? Yeah, how the lockdown impacted, the COVID lockdown impacted the weather conditions in your place. Oh, uh, during COVID-19, during lockdown, uh, we we'll, uh, thanks first of all the our uh, honorable prime minister of india and during complete lockdown when the all uh, trades and shops were shut down and schools were also shut down but this is a platform technology and uh, we also are grateful and thankful to our team ncrt and ciet and they provide us a platform. You must have heard about the Diksha platform and Swam platform, e -Vidya. So we continue our study, the uh, live classes. And uh, uh, in our uh, village or our nearby city, the patients of COVID-19 was very less. So we are uh, lucky in this case. No, even a single student of this school uh, what comes under COVID-19. So they wear masks all the time and they wear the advisory released by the government of India or uh, state governments. So we follow all the advisory. And what about your place, Vitaji? Uh, sir, I guess, yeah, all the schools were closed and all the public places were closed. And yeah, the lockdown took a good impact on the weather conditions in Bangalore. Yeah, the global warming, air pollution, everything decreased. That's oh, uh, yeah. anger. Yes, yes. So uh, it's the duty of the students, the 21st century students, you are the, and, uh, India is in your hand. And it's our moral duty uh, to decrease the pollution on the air, on the water, and the soil also. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, welcome, welcome. Jai Hind, sir. Uh, Jai Hind, everyone. I am Aditi. I am very curious to know about the food uh, in Punjab. Like, uh, which dishes or snacks shows the true essence of Punjab? Like, uh, oh, wow. Uh, well, uh, when you come to Punjab, so we'll serve you each and every dish of our Punjab. Sure, sure, sir. So, uh, I'll invite uh, to one student who will tell you the better dish of Punjab, Punjab, the Kana Ki, one of the Haga Ki, Kisija Kamea, Kika Othara Bosana Haga. Okay? Yes, I'll So, uh, but a beautiful girl, and she is here. Oh, good of a country. I'll serve a child. Let's see. Oh, that's so nice hearing all this. We are also feeling hungry. <laughs> we feel like coming to Punjab and trying all those dishes. Sir. It's very nice. Ah, yes. Ah, we will yeah. only visit Punjab and you should like uh, also visit Karnataka and uh, taste our food and also see our culture. Okay, and uh, the name of uh, this in your uh, state, Karnataka? Sorry? Uh, students want to know about that this is served in Karnataka state, your dishes. You eat. Okay, uh, we here uh, right, uh, eat uh, rice and rasam, anna sambar, anna rasam. And uh, our sweet dishes are full of variety, like uh, our famous Mysore, uh, Mysore Park, which is a sweet dish made from ghee. We also eat rasgulla or rasgulla, I think, and uh, gulab jamun and all the other uh, sweet dishes. Okay, okay, okay. Well. And uh, in, in our uh, state of Punjab, the lady is very famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, and also like uh, Rasgula so much. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. It was very nice. Thank you. Ah, welcome, welcome, Vidaji. Jai Hind, sir. My name is Yukta. 
I just have a small question about uh, what industries do you have there and what would dominate, which industry would dominate over there? Uh, sorry, but please repeat again. Yes, sir. Like, which industries would you say dominate in Punjab? Okay, okay, okay. But I you have to say that Punjab is the main industry that is very dominant. So, uh, Komal, you please tell about Komal. Uh, yes. Uh, so, in Karnataka, I think the textile industry is the most popular and the IT industries. Bengaluru is also called the Silicon Valley of India because of the IT departments and the foundations of it. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, she will tell about the industry of Punjab. Punjab economics based on agriculture. So, Jai Hind, everyone. My name is Balaji. So, I wanted to know that how was transportation development and the transportation facility in your area or like in your locality? And all? Okay. Yes. Uh, please come, Beta. Beta, oh, Pusana Jarev, your transportation system in the state. Da. uh, I wanted to ask. Yes. Uh, they are they are telling about the transportation system in Punjab. Mostly the farmers have tractor and trolley. Okay. Uh, they have to do the, the things in the farmhouse. They need tractor and trolley. And uh, uh, farmers have jeeps also. Jeeps and uh, bullet is very famous in our Punjab. Bullet. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, please, beta. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, I had a question. How do the geographic conditions of Punjab support the climate over there? Okay. Yes, uh, in, uh, as well as the question of geographical conditions, we are very lucky. Uh, we enjoy the almost every season in our state. Winter, summer, spring, rainy season. Uh, Yes, in autumn also, and there is a uh, difference in uh, temperature. Uh, as in the winter, we have a temperature at least uh, 15 degree, and uh, in summer, we have to face uh, 40 degree, 45 degree. So the difference, a lot of difference is there. Okay. It's extreme climate, no, sir, there? Yes, and Chandigarh and Ludhiana, uh, here the temperature is, uh, difference is very uh, much. Okay, all right. It's really nice for us to learn about it, sir. Thank you so much for the information, sir. We and have... And what, and what about the uh, Karnataka state, the uh, difference of uh, temperature? Sir, Karnataka on uh, hotter days, we experience 37 degrees Celsius. And uh, when it's a bit cold, uh, on cold days, the average is 13 degrees Celsius. Okay. All right. And uh, uh, is uh, in this uh, hot temperature, uh, students want to know how can you wear uh, the coats? 
you are wearing that uh, even it is a school dress but uh, i think uh, it's a uh, Uh, sir, here it's not uh, hot now. It's quite cold. Even okay. in the night, we need blankets. Winter has started already for us. Okay. And uh, yeah. one question. Uh, one is more question from the students. Yes. Uh, your name after uh, why? Uh, suppose uh, your name um, M or B or G, just like this. So why so? Okay, so here uh, they have a practice of writing their father's name as the surname. So sometimes that comes in the initial. They put it in the form of initial. Uh, okay, uh, I'm pronouncing the name of the uh, 10 grade students. There is a name uh, uh, Sroshi P. Ah, Sroshi P. Ah, so what does it mean P? What is P? Uh, so P is actually a uh, pete. So um, we actually have, um, even though we are like Hindus, we have uh, two kinds. I'm actually Konkani. Uh, so Konkani is the origin from. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, please, please speak. Uh, so actually, Konkani has an origin from uh, Portuguese. That is Goa. Uh, so uh, we have uh, the our language company has like a mixture of um, Hindi, Marathi, and also Kannada. That is our um, uh, the language of our state. Uh, so we are very proud of our uh, state, sir, and we um, make sure that especially on November first we uh, celebrate our language and our culture. Okay, and uh, could you please tell us the meaning of your name? A uh, meaning of my name, so uh, it means creation. Oh wow! So beautifully creation is there. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, Srishti uh, is a, a Hindi word. You can say Srishti means uh, creation. Uh, sir, sorry, sir. Yes, he's telling the meaning. Your of your name, creation. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you so much, Bidaji, for uh, your uh, name. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Vijay Gupta, sir. So, this is all what we wanted to uh, share, and uh, we also wanted to learn so much from your side. Today, my students have really learned a lot. Their bags are full with the information you and your students have shared. Uh, is there any more uh, questions? If anyone has, we are here to answer it. Uh, yes, ma'am. Students want uh, you to speak in Hindi also. Uh, my Hindi? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, tell me. Yeah. So, what do I say? Maybe Hindi? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, but uh, uh, but you please go near me. Kya bolu Hindi me or many koshis ki hai, many Hindi turi kachi paki hai. I'm very sorry for it. Me koshis karungi ki ma or a chitrasi Hindi bol pao me seek lugi. And if I come to Punjab, definitely I'm looking forward to learning Hindi from you all. <laughs> Hello, Ronita ji. Uh, Hello, yes, Vijay. Yes, sir. Ananda, sir. Yes. I am from Anand, all the students. Good afternoon. So I learned more from both your states, Punjab yes. and Karnataka. Yes, so very sir. good. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much for <laughs> giving you a permission to join with you. Yes. Ah, yes. Bolie. Ah. Okay. 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 Vijay ji. Hello, sir. Namaste. Hello. Namaste. All the students, Namaste. Children, uh, In Karnataka, I know one word. Chena gide? In Punjab, balle balle. Great learning, sir. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much.
and uh, sir please introduce yourself to our students anand so my name is anand kumar undeti i am working as a principal of high school in telangana uh, district name is badradri kottagudam uh, like uh, us punjab we have one uh, great river here that is godavari so nearby godavari we are living here so our uh, uh, city name is uh, chandrakonda it is a village not city it is a tribal village purely so we are working in that village Okay, wow, yeah. beautiful, sir. Our school is 10 feet high. We are also the Great River Godavari, sir. <laughs> Godavari, the second largest river in India, after Ganga. Yeah, yeah, sir, after Ganga, the second largest river. Yes. Ah, maybe the Dark Rao, na sir, Godavari ke. Ah, yes, Godavari. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. thank you thank and, you sir uh, thank you so much anand ji uh, so uh, uh, on behalf of all of us uh, one of my students she is the head girl of our school she would like to thank everyone okay ma'am uh, yes ma'am yes sir yeah over to kriti and uh, i also want to say to asan sir you please bachche aapka bhi desire karna chahte hain jo बैकग्राउंड पे जिसने सारा अरेंजमेंट किया है एंड पे जा वो एनसीईआरटी आई सिंसियरली थैंक द गवर्नमेंट हाई स्मार्ट स्पिरिचुअलियन वाली फ्रॉम पंजाब फॉर इनवाइटिंग अस एंड इन्वॉल्विंग अस इन दिस वेरी एजुकेशनल रीजनल एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम इट वाज अ वेरी इंसाइटफुल प्रोग्राम एंड द लाइवली कन्वर्सेशंस एंड द एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन रियली मेड दिस मोर ऑफ अ सक्सेस we i want to thank everyone for providing uh, vital information about each other's cultures and uh, i think this uh, promoted the bond between both the regions a special gratitude to the ert for their very enthusiastic response towards this program and supporting all of us by providing this platform last but not the least i would like to thank all our teachers for providing us this opportunity to interact with each other and learn more about each other's cultures we look forward to more intera interactions like this thank you everyone jai hind okay thank you ma hari thank you beta ji jai hind to all of you and uh, jai hind jai hind we have a special surprise for the students surprise gift we have Ronita, ma'am, should I show? Yes, sir. I couldn't hear you properly. Could you repeat again, sir? Uh, we have a surprise gift for the students. Oh wow! Wonderful, sir. Please go ahead. Children, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me show. Okay. Let me show. Please display, sir. Twenty twenty one, na? Yes. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty two. Are you there, all? जस्ट माइ स्क्रीन Yes, so we can see your screen. Okay, just let us wait. So all the students will get a appreciation certificate uh, on the behalf of our school and principal. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's a uh, national education day which, which is tomorrow so that is a great personality of our country the first education minister do you know the name of beta this great personality yes sir ma'am uh, i want okay. to ask from the personality yes our children they are aware of that 
ओके ओके सो अब्दुल कलाम आजाद हां ईच स्टूडेंट्स विल गेट अ ई सर्टिफिकेट ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ आवर स्कूल मैम यस दैट ओ थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सो मच वी आर सो ऑनर्ड सर थैंक यू सो मच ओके थैंक्स अ लॉट एंड वी नाउ इट्स अ टाइम ऑफ वी हैव कम्युनिटी लंच मैम इन आवर स्कूल ओके यस then uh, yes we will not uh, delay you all you should go and have your lunch and we will also go for our lunch sir. okay ji thank you so much and uh, thanks a lot shreen vasan sir and anand kumar sir thanks a lot sir yes thank you so much